Hey there, fellas and the ladies. Welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. If you're looking to do a small renovation project in your house that requires electricity, you might be wondering what size wire you need to use. How many circuits should I run? It all depends on where you're going to be doing it and what you're doing. If you're going to do a kitchen or bathroom, you will want to use 20 amp circuits, which is number 12 wire. If you are doing a room addition or adding lights and outlets somewhere, you're probably gonna be looking at 15 amp rated wire, which is number 14 wire. But honestly, it depends on what you're going to be using that electricity for. You want to start out with a plan. Figure out how many lights you want in the room. Then think about everything you are going to be plugging into the outlets. Once you know the quantities, then you can start doing load calculations to figure out how many home runs you are going to have. Home runs are the wires going back to your panel. It's basically the same as saying, how many circuits are you going to have? When you think about lighting, think about the type of lights you want to install. There are many types, track lighting, chandeliers, can lighting, or accent lighting. A lot of people choose to go with recessed cans in their house. Here's a little tip. If you're going to have a ceiling fan in the same room as your can lights, install the cans closer to the wall and away from that fan. This way you don't get that strobe effect when the fan is on. It will also make the room look bigger if the lights are closer to the wall. That light will shine against the wall and down into the room and it'll make it look much bigger. Everybody always asks me, how much lighting should I add? That's a hard question for me. I'm an electrician, I love lights, but I always suggest adding more light than to be conservative because you can always install dimmers if you need to. It ultimately is going to come down to your load calculation. Now you've got your list of lights you want to install and you've got your list of things you're going to plug in. Let's move on to the next video about doing load calculations. Thank mm -hmm. you.